So I'm going to show you how I took a couple six foot long cedar fence planks and turned them into a tomato cage. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take one of your six foot planks and cut it in half at the three foot mark just to make it a little bit easier to work with. So next we want to divide this up into three equal sections, as close as we can get it. Here's a handy little tool I 3D printed, I can put the link in the description. But this allows you to put this on here and then make some marks and get it pretty close, it doesn't have to be exact. So out of this board here, we're going to have three three foot long sections. Those will be three for the legs. We're gonna do one more leg out of this and then we'll have two extras. We're gonna use the rest of the, the two pieces here and whatever we need here to create the cross pieces. And we should only need 12 of those. We've got them all cut. So the one thing you need to be aware of is when you are picking out your pieces for what part of the tomato cage, make sure you don't use the one that has the notch for your side cross supports because we're going to be taking an entire three foot section of this and we're going to be chopping it into three equal pieces so foot foot and foot this however will work just fine for the bottom of the cage if that's touching the ground it's not going to be a big deal if that's cut out there anyway all right i'm going to grab some of these and i'm going to cut them down into one foot pieces With your first set that you cut, take a look. This one got a little bit short, so I'm gonna trim these two just a little bit, and then this one will be my master. And I'm actually gonna mark it so I know which one that is. All right, much better. Now I just need to do that a bunch more times. There we go. There's 12. So this is what you have left. I'm going to use all of the pointed ones for my for the long legs. You have the 12 cross pieces and you're left over with four three footers. Now all you'd have to do is get one more plank and cut that down the same way as this one and with this you should be able to make a whole other extra tomato cage. So for three of these planks you should be able to make two tomato cages. So we're going to do two pilot holes, drive two screws in, and go all the way down the line. So I have these out of some scrap wood. These are my spacers so I can have even spacing of all the rungs. You can kind of do whatever makes sense to you, whatever looks good to you. These, these spacers that I made are approximately about 10 inches. So I'm using a pretty small bit here. This is a 5 64ths bit to do my pilot holes. Just gonna eyeball it. Doesn't have to be perfect. So when you're done, you should have what looks like a ladder. Now just do the exact same thing again. All right, next, we're gonna take all the cross pieces 
And we're going to put some pocket holes in them, just like this. Two on each side. All right, I won't make you watch me do that to every single piece. So I'll snap my fingers and it'll be done. And just like that, we're done. So now obviously, the easy step to do at the end, throw these in place. in and we should be good. So you may want to pull this to the edge for the screw heads to stick over. So this way you get a little more flush surface over here when you're mounting these together. And there it is, it's all done. One cool thing with this design is you can always pop the screws out and lay each ladder section down flat and then just you would have the slats remaining and just kind of tie them together with a rope and store it that way. One last thing that I like to do is you can buy this landscaping edger and I cut and separate these and then I trim it down like this and using one of these landscape spikes, stakes from one of these kits here. You could take this, maybe have a little spacer of some sort, attach it to your leg like that, screw it on. And then when you're out in your garden, drive your stake through it. it should help keep it from tipping over. All right, thanks for watching. Good luck building yours. So I don't know if you guys know this. My brother has this weird ADHD thing. Whenever he's doing dishes and he's putting them away, he has to put them away in the order that he purchased them. It's a rare dish order. So please, to help him calm down a little bit, like this video and subscribe. Thanks.